Hey guys, what's happening? Joy here, back again with a review. Uh, today I'm going to review one of the fragrances that's not, you know, getting so much love and not much attention. And not that many reviews are on YouTube about this fragrance. And as you can see, it's a CK1 Red Edition. Uh, it's one of those CK1 flankers, but uh, I think it has its own unique smell. So I'll be talking about this fragrance and uh, what's good about it. And I kind of like it. It's one of my favorite summer fragrances. And uh, let's see uh, uh, what it gives us, all right? Okay, so I'll start with uh, the name. As you can see, it's CK1 Red, okay? It's a flanker from the very famous CK1 line. And uh, Calvin Klein actually has uh, lots and lots of bottles. They have uh, about, I don't know how many bottles they have. They had so many releases and then flankers of those releases. So basically they have like a huge line, which like it really gives like the option to the consumers, basically like what they like. Some people like the aquatic, some people like the summer ones, some people like the boozy ones. So CK actually does like pretty decent job so among the Calvin Klein uh, releases, like the from the house, what actually uh, some of the good fragrance releases to me personally, I liked uh, since like last 10, 15 years, I guess, uh, definitely has to be CK1. And the summer, some of the summer releases, they also had the Eternity. The Eternity, the original one, uh, it was okay. It's not bad. It's one of the most sold bottles, but I kind of like the flankers. Uh, then also have the Euphoria line. They have CK Shock, which is a very good tobacco-based fragrance. Um, I tried it, but uh, didn't actually get the bottle. Maybe I'll get it. And also the Reveal, which happens to be my most favorite from the CK line. And then back from the time, I think uh, the CK Obsession, which is discontinued right now, that was like the ultimate scent for me, not the CK1 or the B or any other fragrances. That one was the real manly one. The, it had the apple, the, the, you know, the sheer manliness. So anyway, so okay, right now let's go to the CK1 Red Edition, the review, okay? So I saw the review, I think when I opened YouTube and I searched for CK1 Red as I was interested, I saw only one review back then, I think it's uh, five, six months back, uh, or maybe more, I think the year back, I saw only one review that was actually from George from UK uh, the his channel is called the fragrance apprentice uh, he's a very he's, a, he's one of my favorite reviewers he's a very nice guy he's funny he has a very uh, accurate uh, like uh, description of uh, what the fragrance really smells like and he's very frank he doesn't give you um, sweet reviews like oh okay this is pleasant this is good it's 10 out of 10 no if it's good he will give it a good mark okay so this was like the only review so i was like very interested i watched that review over and over again and then i started craving for this fragrance and i bought it actually so uh thanks to george for uh, this recommendation and uh, i actually bought this bottle because of his review all right so uh okay uh, what actually uh, what uh, how much it cost the bottle okay here in malaysia i bought it from uh, we call it the uh, klcc it's uh, petron's twin towers they have a shopping mall there it's one of the biggest malls uh, that uh, i got it from the ck counter there it cost me back then it's like 230 ringgits which uh, roughly i think is 55 dollars us okay so uh, i usually buy stuff from the uh, usually from the counters because uh, then you can avoid uh, the fakes. I don't know if someone's going to make a fake of CK1 Red, but then, you know, this days anything's possible. So I think, yeah, the price for the price, it's, it's not very expensive. It's rather on the, um, you know, it's a it's a reasonable price uh, compared to the other fragrance releases. The price is good. Okay, let's move to the presentation, all right? The presentation, as you can see, I'll show you the box at first, okay? The box basically is... Um, very nice it's it's a very appealing and very sexy kind of night kind of a uh, uh, theme it's a black box with c written ck and the, all the writings are in red so the red goes very nicely with the black so the front is this they can see the kelvin klein for him it says for him here uh, actually you cannot see it okay yeah you can see it now but the thing is this fragrance actually is unisex for me so 
ladies can wear it alike and uh, the ladies love this stuff as well so there's another another one for the la ladies women's version but i think this one is actually unisex so at the this is like 100 ml bottle uh, okay and then at the back you have the ingredients uh, written okay i'm sorry about the focus okay it's just the ingredients and then the company name and some other details all right it's made in usa so yeah so that's the box uh, then with the box we also have uh, this bottle actually comes with this cap on at first you know they don't, they don't sell it like like the sprayer is not there the, in the beginning it comes like this okay so basically it's it's a flask sort of a bottle like it'll, it'll go like this but without the sprayer so then they give the sprayer uh, inside the box so basically you can take it out and put it back on and off when you're not using it or using it and then uh, if you, you can also use it as a splash okay as George said so basically it's, 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 it's a very good um, option for you because not many bottles they they have that option so you can if you're not using it i guess so you can put this back in the box and then you can use the sprayer i preferred the sprayer because the sprayer gives the uh, it has a very decent sprayer actually not uh, maybe 10 out of 10 but it's pretty good like decent sprayer it will spray enough juice for the uh, fragrance uh, okay for its uh, concentration all right let's move to uh, the notes okay so what what notes and what actually this fragrance gives me all right so basically the theme you can see is red and black right so but there's nothing black or dark or night uh, i say i would say night or noir kind of feel from it it's more like a daytime scent right so the red represents i think uh, to me i get it's pure cranberry juice it's uh, that starts with that fruity fresh you know apple it uh, says the major note is sweet pear. I also get pear, but then the main note to me, I think it, I get very sweet and very fresh, very authentic cranberry juice. It's so very likable, you know, it's very unique and not that many designer fragrances have this cranberry note, I guess. So it's very likable in the opening. Then as it dries down, you're gonna get uh, tonka bean and a little bit of musk and a little bit of green feel like from the vetiver, I guess but not very heavy on musk or vetiver okay it's a very nice uh, subtle dry, dry down and then the highlight of this in the uh, middle and the bottom note i think you i detect i don't know if so many people will get it but i get like a coconut uh, <laughs> tropical sort of uh, this thing like a uh, note that it smells like coconut i get coconut you know so you get the feel of holidays or by the beach or you're in the resort or some sort and there are a lot of palm trees and coconut trees around so you get the smell of coconut so it's very nice that's what i think it makes it very unique starts with the cranberry juice uh red fruity start with a sweet pear fruity notes you know not floral fruity and then it, in the middle it's a bit uh, like you know tonka bean uh, those like other fragrances but in the end it's like it gives that um coconut feel so it's more like a holiday kind of scent you know like uh, you can take this if you're going for a vacation with you and as you can see it's 100 ml bottle you can spray it as many times as you want all right so okay how many sprays with this bottle okay uh, with this fragrance i think i would go with you don't have to be really worried about you know the number of sprays because this the fragrance itself is not heavy so you can go crazy you can go like six seven eight uh, i would go like standard uh, in our conditions in Malaysia, I would go like seven, eight, uh, spray some on your clothes so it will last you longer. And the best uh, feature of this uh, fragrance is the opening to me. Coconut is nice, but the opening, the fruity blast, it's going to make you happy. It's going to cheer you up. People around you will like, like look at you and then they'll think, you know, oh, what a nice smell. You know, what a very you know happy smell so basically it's 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 a very fun and fruity scent okay where can you use this uh, i think this is more like a casual scent you can wear t-shirt and jeans and you can wear this you can pull it off even if you go for sports like let's say you're playing cricket you know or you tennis or something uh, nothing uh, very heavy and then you can use it for sport or if you're going for swimming or the pool parties indoors you can use this to last you about two to three hours in our conditions uh, i guess if the weather is a little better like they don't have the scorching heat where your fragrance like boom it's gone like you know because of the heat it's evaporated very fast 
okay if it's not that condition you can get like four five six hours from it but in malaysia condition uh, or even like let's say i'm from bangladesh so if we say use it in our country i think we'll get like two to three hours max so the first one hour it will project very nicely so yeah for the price i think it, it's pretty good it's not bad it's very solid and then the smell is very pleasant not heavy all right okay so in the end uh, i think uh for the guys who would like this uh this is not a uh, formal uh, fragrance this is more like holiday casual and fun scent uh similar to this i think uh uh scent i think uh, hugo boss red uh, which which is a very nice scent as well it has a note of rhubarb and also red berries and i think also the polo line has the polo red and the red intense or the edp Uh, this 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 comes to that category if you talk about designers but to me i think over the three i would prefer this the polo followed by the polo red intense that's also very nice then maybe the hugo but they're all very nice and sweet fragrance you cannot use this maybe for very formal occasion but for the rest for casual usage you can use this okay so I guess that's pretty much all I have to say about this scent and I'm really I really wanted to do you know I really wanted to cover this scent and um because not that many uh reviews are on it and then it doesn't get that much attention but I think for the summer this actually is a very very solid fragrance and I would recommend this because not because uh i'm maybe a fan of ck i'm not really big fan of ck calvin klein house because they do have very uh solid fragrances some of them but not as many as maybe compared to the chanel's or dior's so for me to like this i like this individually as a fragrance release itself and i think it's a solid fragrance and for the price you get it's a very good pricing and uh you can spray it like uh, guilt free that's what i feel and the bottle looks nice on your shelf as well and then the the obviously the cap the convenience if you don't use it you can put it back with the cap on so you don't lose any juice so all together i think it's a very solid buy for the price and uh, if uh, you look into the market what you have with that kind of price range this is a very solid fragrance i don't know if you, they still have it i think it's still continued so you can look into it So thank you very much guys do let me know what you think about this fragrance if you have it or you ever tried it uh it would be nice to hear from you guys and please uh, do subscribe and then uh, let me know ways i can improve thank you so much have a nice day bye bye